Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through HTTP session interface guys. Okay, so this is also the concept which we are discussing in session tracking with the servlets only guys. This is the last and the fourth method. Okay, guys, if you ask like currently most of the developers are using this concept only guys to save those details, right? The common data is among multiple pages and all those things. They will be using this sessions only. Okay, so basically the whole concept is nothing but they will be creating a session variable. Okay, and inside that session variable, they will be adding the items guys. And they will be extracting them whenever they need it. That's the simple logic you can say. Okay, guys, you can just go through the theory guys because this theory, if I just read it, I'll be just reading it and I'll be giving the same sentences again and again. So it will be just a waste of your time. So let us directly drive into the example. Okay, so first let us go through the HTML code. So we are using the same code again and again guys. So we, we are creating a simple page with a single input which we are correcting is nothing but username. So assume again the username is Ravi and we gave a button to click go. Okay, so again the first program here you will be collecting the value from the HTML code and you will be creating a session guys. Okay, so again the so same common code till here and here you collected the name and you stored it in n okay then you printed it after that here the thing guys so here you created a session that is nothing but http session session equal to request dot get session so here you successfully created a session so now you need to add something into this session so that for that you'll be using set attribute so session dot set attribute u name equal to n so u name comma n is nothing but it indirectly states that u name is equals to the particular name what we gave guys ravi so ravi is stored there after that you gave a small button and after that you closed it okay okay so similarly the second program in which we are trying to access this data which is saved inside the session we will be using the session dot get attribute guys so here we are setting it and here we are getting it that's the simple logic okay so here you got the value so and always the data you must make sure that you are converting into your required format guys so if the if it is not username and if it is role number you will be converting it forcibly into integer similarly it is a username so it will obviously be in string so you convert it into string like that so hello plus the string if his name is ravi it will be saying hello ravi like that okay similarly the ba the basic xml code okay so the basic xml code will be the same and most of the ids that like eclipse and many other ids will automatically generate them guys so it will be inside the servlet and you'll be writing the name and the class name okay so after that you will be mapping it with with the particular url okay so after that you will be giving the second map so okay so this is all about the sessions guys like how the sessions are identified and all those things okay so i hope everyone got a clear idea on this so in the next lecture we will be going through jsp guys java servlet pages so till now we discussed about servlets or you can say java servlets so now we'll be discussing in our, from our next lecture we'll be discussing about java servlet pages so if you ask me what is the major difference between these two they both are same but syntactically writing a code of a html and java in a single file of a java is really complex when compared to java servlets guys servlet pages okay so here we are having multiple advantages so that is the reason why it was introduced and it was used widely even nowadays so basically if you want to create any web page using java you will be using java servlet pages only okay so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching